G-Man, honey, get Shanny some pizza quick! She's starving! Did you ever think in your life you would see someone so low that they would claim to have cancer and manipulate the Christian community in order to get pizzas and two liters? This video of the great <laughs> was created in 2022 of August. Enjoy. You know, I've labored, labored so hard in my life with all these different problems I did. You know, I have these little twits on my Instagram. And they say, they say this to me, that I, I, I have this problem and this problem and this problem and, and here you can't work and I work, blah, 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 blah. Like, it's all bullshit. I realize it's all bush bullshit. I had another woman tell me, how dare you say, don't you ever say you have cancer to me because I have stomach cancer. And it's like, you know, multiple people have cancer at the same time, right? No, really? Yeah, but I, I, I'm immune to cancer, apparently. Um, even though both my parents died of metastatic cancer. Even though my grandparents died of cancer, and I have aunts and uncles that died of cancer. No, I'm, I, in my genetic code, have somehow become immune to that fucking horrible body-eating disease. How dare I say that? <laughs> How dare I? How dare I? Right. Right. All that was like insta block. I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> I know you guys are lying about that shit because most people who go through the shit that I go through are empathic. They understand what you're going through. They're not going to be assholes to you. Um, imagine, imagine not going to work for a little bit of pain. A little bit of pain? Do you, do you know my, how I feel? Personally, on a personal level, you can do that through the internet. Wow. Wow, you're a freaking genius, aren't you? No. I'll just continue to lament. Just like in Ecclesiastes, lament about how horrible life is. You know, there's only, and, and, and it's right at the end of Ecclesiastes, you know, the meaning of life. And to me, I, I, I agree with it 100%. Let me, let me give you the right um, dialogue to it, okay? This is the end of Ecclesiastes, okay? The very last part of it. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment and every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. There you go. Serve God. Listen to his commandments. And, and his commandments are simple. is to love him love others and love yourself and love your enemies at the same time 
You know, if you if you, if your enemy needs meat and and drink, you you, you give them meat and drink. Like, a lot of you need Jesus in your life because you don't have Jesus in your life. Your your fruit bears just... Your fruit is dead. <laughs> You're just a withered fig tree. Withered. And, and barren, no fruit, no grace of God, no, no faith of God, nothing. Why? Why? Because you think you know better than God? The person who created you and knitted you in, in, his, in your mother's womb? You, you think you're better than that? You're not. You're nothing but piss. Trust me. You're nothing but piss. Okay? We are all appointed death. All of us. Every single one of us are appointed to death at the end of the day. Everything that you've done and said will be forgotten. And your name will be stricken from history. Know that. You know why you don't matter. You know, the deists have, have certain points about the the aspects of God. They do. They have a truth that God left us here to test us. To show how we grow. Is, is this how we're going to show mankind? How the best of mankind? Is this how we're going to show the best of mankind? By devouring others? By demeaning people? That's the best of mankind. No wonder the aliens has, haven't landed here. You're not worthy of them. You're not worthy of their great power. You're not worthy of their technology. You're not worthy of their greatness because you're not mentally there. Okay? They find it abhorrent that you're still attacking each other. Abhorrent, the aliens do. What is the need to senselessly attack each other when you could build each other up and, and become great through love and understanding? Oh, oh, that's too hard to take in your heart, isn't it? Too hard to take in your heart. And it's sad. It really is. It's sad. You know? But you prove scripture right every day. You do wax worse and worse. You do not have any mercy or grace for people. You don't. You think they should be perpetually put down. Even though they learn they're from their lessons. Their mistakes. Their failures. But you don't ever put that in into your thought. That people learn from their mistakes and failures. You want to keep people perpetually down, and if that's the best of humanity, you failed. You failed. You failed the test. You see, you see how I am in love with hearts? Why is that? Why is that? It's love. And I, I see you guys as silly fucking children going around treating people like shit. Just to treat people like shit. And it's so sad. It's so sad. That silly little children can't seem to understand things. They can't love. No knowledge of love.
no knowledge how to love thy thy enemy even though I straight up say I am not your enemy I have no enemies you know why because I don't fight anyone I don't need to I have the truth and the truth will always stand firm What do most people have? Lies, deceptions, masks, pretending there's something that they're not. It's really sad at the end of the day, seeing how people are, seeing how horrible it is to know you guys can't seem to rationalize what you're doing. And Jesus, while he was lying, lying, like pinned up on the cross, right? He was pinned up on the cross. There's Jesus. What did he say about you silly little fools out there? Forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. That's you guys. He asked God to forgive you, even though you're not worthy of any forgiveness for the horrible things you've done to people. And you know, you know the horrible things you've done to people. I don't need to tell you. I don't need to tell you. But I, I, I straight up know in my heart and in my soul that I repent of all that silly fucking shit. I repent. Like, I don't need to go after anyone. There's no point, you know? There's no point. You know, they've 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 destroyed everything that I ever loved and that was ever dear to me. So it, it's whatever. I realized it's all vanity at the end of the day. It was all my ego. Having everything destroyed and taken away from me that I loved. It was a blessing and a curse, really. Because I have nothing but me and God now. That's all I have, me and God. There's no one else influencing my brain. It's just me and God. That's where I am in life. Thank you, watermelon. I will take that. Oh, she's curious. She is. <laughs> she's a good girl. Yeah. You know, right, right now, there's so many people angry with their misdirected anger at me never done anything to these people they say I'm this and this and this and they're angry at me over lies I can't do anything about that I, I, I can't do anything that other than say that they're being deceived they're being manipulated emotionally manipulated by a very ugly human being and you give this guy all the leeway while well, giving no leeway to others a lot of people see the truth a lot of people see what's going on 
a lot of people see what's going on right now. To the Christians out there, if there is any real Christians out there, which is, you know what I'm talking about, it's called the separation from the wheat and the chaff. You, 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 it, it's going to be burned up. All these people are going to be gathered together and burnt up, according to Jesus. You know, and and it says, "Let them grow together." The wheat and the tares, they they grow together. Because see, you need enemies to show Jesus. How to love your enemies. And the only way how I can love my enemies is to really just lecture them like a child who's done something wrong. Because really deep down inside that's what they are. Children. Um, emotionally insecure people. With... <laughs> with way too much gusta because they they haven't learned that words hurt and you're mentally hurting people and that's fucked up and you laugh about it you take enjoyment in it you prove the bible in romans 1 too by doing that stuff but at the same time you go to um proverbs 6 16 through 19 and you see that God hates what you do. God hates what you do. You need Jesus. You need Jesus. Simple as that. You need Jesus. You know, at least have his philosophy. <laughs> Which is the golden rule. To love others as yourself. To treat people like they matter, you know, or, or look at it that all life is precious. I, I don't know. In the secular terms, be good people. Attacking someone is not being a good person, no matter how much you look at it. It's not. It's no way how to talk to someone. And, and any psychologist and, and counselor would tell you that. You atheists out there, you say you hate Christians because of how they judge others. How are you any different than them? How do you set yourself apart from them? To me, you're the same as judgmental Christians. But you know what? At the end of the day, God meets you at your own judgment. So how you judge me is going to be your judgment at the end. It is. How you judge me. Ruthless, merciless, without grace. You can suffer forever. You're doing it to yourself. And, and when you die, you're going to know you did it to yourself. Just remember, Shani told you this before it happened. Like I said, I'm just saying straight truth here. Like, if you believe in Buddhism and Hinduism, your karmatic value, you're, you're going to come back as a worm. You know, you... you if you believe in native religion,